In many CA SiteMinder environments that use Federation, Federation is configured using the CA SiteMinder Web Agent Option Pack. This option pack requires several components that must be installed and configured including a web server, application server, web agent, and web agent option pack before Federation can be configured. Deployment of these various components may take some time. Secure Proxy Server includes all of these components that are already integrated in a single installation package. By using Secure Proxy Server, for CA SiteMinder Federation, an organization can get Federation up and running much faster and with a lower cost of ownership. In our example, an organization named smcompany.com contracts with a partner, a healthco.com to manage employee health benefits. An employee of smcompany.com authenticates himself at the company website. Then, he clicks a link to view his health benefits at ahealthco.com. The employee is taken to the ahealthco.com website and is presented with the correct health benefit information without having to sign on to the ahealthco.com website. This single sign-on between organizations works because SAML-based federation is deployed between somecompany.com and ahealthco.com. In this scenario, ahealthco.com maintains all health-related information and user identities for every employee at somecompany.com. When an employee of somecompany.com accesses ahealthco.com, a SAML assertion containing the identity for the employee is passed from somecompany.com to ahealthco.com in a secure manner. This assertion allows ahealthco.com to determine who the user is, and the level of access to allow for that user. In our example, smcompany.com is the identity provider and ahealthco.com is the service provider. A federated partnership has been created between the two organizations, with the identity provider creating the assertion and the service provider consuming the assertion. The partnership uses SAML 2.0 HTTP POST profile for single sign-on. This video demonstrates service provider initiated and identity provider initiated federation transaction using secure proxy server as a federation gateway. If you want to learn more about how the federation transactions work, Click the Federation Concept button now. Ensure you have CA SiteMinder Policy Server and Secure Proxy Server installed. While installing Secure Proxy Server, select Yes to enable Federation Gateway. To learn more, click the Install and Configure Secure Proxy Server button. Now, let's start with the configuration of Identity Provider side. The first step is to create an agent. Open the CA SiteMinder Administrative UI. Specify the login credentials and click Login. Click the Infrastructure tab. Under Agent, click Agents. Click Create Agent to create a new agent. Select the Create a new object of type Agent option. Then, click OK. Specify the agent name and description. Then, click Submit. Note the agent gets created. The next task is to create the Agent Configuration Objects. So, click Agent Configuration Objects. Click Create Agent Configuration. Select the Create a Copy of an Object of Type Agent Configuration option. Select the Apache Default Settings option. Then, click OK. Specify the Agent Configuration Name. Then, find the Default Agent Name parameter from the list of parameters. Specify agent name that you have created. Also, specify the log off URI and SSO zone name parameters. Click Submit. The agent configuration object gets created. The next task is to configure secure proxy server with CA SiteMinder agent and CA SiteMinder agent configuration object. Browse to the secure proxy server installation location. You will find two properties file here. Open affwebservices.properties file. When you configure secure proxy server, the webagent.conf file gets created. Now, here you need to specify the path of that file. Similarly, you need to update loggerconfig.properties file. Open it. Ensure tracing on property is set as Y. Open services and restart the SiteMinder proxy engine and SiteMinder secure proxy services. This completes the configuration of AFF Web Services. In this scenario, 
This test URL is used to verify that the Federation services are working fine at identity provider side with service provider side. After configuring secure proxy server, we have verified that Federation services are working as desired. The next task is to provide secure proxy server support from the back-end server. Access the secure proxy server admin UI. The Windows security dialog gets displayed. Enter the login credentials and click OK. Note, in this scenario secure proxy server is supported by the IIS as back-end server. So once the request comes to secure proxy server it gets redirected to IIS. Now, let's access the secure proxy server page. Observe, when the secure proxy server page is requested, the IIS 7 page is displayed as specified in the proxy rules. This completes the configuration of identity provider side with secure proxy server. Now, repeat the same steps at service provider side. Ensure secure proxy server is configured with federation service. We are using CA site minder federation on both sides. One side is generating token and the other side is consuming the token. Here, in the identity provider side, IIS is used as backend server. Similarly in service provider side, you may have proxy server in the Linux machine where Apache server is working as the backend server. Remember, SAML is an open standard. We can do this with any solution that is SAML compliant. The next task is to create entities to configure federation and identity provider side. So, open the administrative UI. Then, click the federation tab. Next, under partnership federation. Click Entities. To create a local identity for identity provider, click Create Entity. Set the entity location as local. Specify the new entity type as SAML 2 IDP. Then click Next. Specify the SAML 2 IDP details. Check the unspecified and email address attributes. Then, click Next. Review the details and click Finish. Message confirms that the entity of the IDP is saved. The next task is to create the remote entity for service provider. So, again click Create Entity. Set the entity location for service provider as remote. Specify the new entity type as SAML 2SP. Then, click Next. Configure the entity. Ensure the 8th Web Services URL is displayed. Set the binding and the location URLs of HTTP and SOAP. Check the unspecified and email address. Then, click Next to continue. Review the details and click Finish. The local and remote entities are created. The next task is to create the partnerships among them. So, click the Partnership Federation link. Click Partnerships. To create the partnership, click Create Partnership. In this scenario, we have specified identity provider as local and service provider as remote. So, select SAML 2 IDPSP from the drop-down list. Here specify the partnership name, local IDP ID, remote SP ID and the base URL of AFE Web Services configured in the identity provider side. Add the required directory in the selected directories list. Then, click Next. Select the directory of the federated users and set the user classes all users in directory from the drop-down list. Then, click Next. For assertion configuration, specify the required details. Set email as the assertion attribute and click Next. Here under the authentication section, specify the authentication mode as local. Specify the authentication URL. Select the configure authentication context as use predefined authentication class. Then, select the authentication class and scroll down. Under SSO section, Select HTTP POST. Set the transaction allowed for both IDP and SP. In addition, remote assertion consumer service URL. In this scenario, it is the URL of service provider. Under SLO service URLs section, specify the binding details for HTTP redirect. Click Next. Accept the default settings by clicking Next. Review the configuration details and click Finish. The Federation Partnership gets created. To activate the partnership, click Actions and then select the Activate option. Click Yes to confirm. 
partnerships among the entities are created. The next task is to create an application, which will authenticate the user and identity provider side. Click the Policies tab. Click Applications. To create an application, click Create Application. Specify the application name, component name. Look up and select the required agent. Specify the resource filter for AFE Web Services Redirect Application. Set the authentication scheme as basic. Then, create the user directories. Once done, click the Resources tab. Specify the resource details, who will be allowed to access the application. Specify the action that will be allowed. Then, click OK. Click Submit. The authentication application gets created in the identity provider side. This ensures that the AFF Web Services URL used to build the partnership is protected by CA SiteMinder. You have created the application. Now, you need to repeat the same steps in the service provider side. So, first let's create the entities. Log into the SiteMinder administrative UI of service provider side. Now, create entities in the service provider side. This time set the entity for the identity provider side as remote and service provider side as local location. Ensure you provide all the details to configure the identity provider entity. Ensure you provide all the details to configure the service provider entity. Once you have created the entities, create the partnerships among them. Remember, while you create the partnership, it should be SAML 2 SP to IDP. Specify the partnership configuration details. Specify the user identification details and click Next. Mention the SSO and SLO details and click Next. Click Next to accept the default. Under Signature, check the Disable Signature Processing. Then, click Next. In Application Integration step, specify the target URL. Then, click Next. Verify the details and then click Finish. The partnership gets created. Activated. The next task is to create an application. Specify the general details of the application. Configure the resources. Define the rules and click OK. Add the required roles and click the Policies tab. Configure the policies and click Submit. The application gets created. This is the protected application that service provider will be serving through Federation. Now, let's verify how the Federation transactions are working in between Identity Provider side and Service Provider side. First let's verify the Service Provider initiated transaction. For this scenario, a sample web page is used. We are on the home page and want to do a transaction. So, let's click the here link. The access gets restricted as we don't have an active session and provides us an option to authenticate by the Identity Provider side. Observe that we are landed to a service provider side after getting authenticated by the identity provider side. Now, the user can access seamlessly between the service provider side and identity provider side. Note the identity provider session is created. Similarly, the service provider session is also created. Now, let's verify the identity provider initiated transaction. This time we are trying to access a protected identity provider application. So, let's click the here link. Observe that the authentication required dialog gets displayed. Users are allowed to view the protected identity provider page after authentication. Now, if they want to perform any transaction from the service provider side, it happens seamlessly. Users will not be challenged again for authentication. You can view the generated SAML response in the FWS trace log file. Thank you for watching this video. For more information, visit www.ca.com/education.